If home is where the heart is, mine is at Winston-Salem State University. As a first-generation college student, I was determined to get an education through the HBCU experience. In 2006, serving as senior class king during homecoming, historically one of the biggest moments each fall in black culture. But my time and energy was mostly spent here inside Hall Patterson, honing my skills as a reporter and anchor for Ram News. Hello, I'm Tim Poyum. This is how it started. 15 years later, this is how it's going. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Tim Pulliam. Todd Davis, a veteran journalist, was my professor and advisor. Today was our first time seeing each other in more than a decade. It was emotional. I'm sorry, man. It's okay. This is special. This is special. It is special to me, too. You took me under your wing. And Good. you gave me an opportunity. Well. And because of you, I have the foundation of what is, it means to work in news, television news. Well, that's thank it. you. That's, that's high praise. I can open the door, but students have to walk through it. And I think that's something unique about the HBCU experience. We focus on student success and we want students to try new things. That's what WSSU's founder, Dr. Simon Green Atkins, desired for the formerly enslaved. On September 28, 1892, Slater Industrial Academy was born in a room with one teacher and 25 students. He was very, very futuristic in that he didn't look at the state where it is, but what he could envision for our people. They asked him the question, what will you teach at that institution? And he answered that question with a question that drives me every day. And he said, what do they teach at Harvard? And what do they teach at the world's great universities? And that's what I will teach here at this university. In 1925, the school was renamed Winston-Salem Teachers College, becoming the first black institution in the nation to award degrees in elementary education. It became Winston-Salem State College and later Winston-Salem State University. Today, the 117-acre campus is a $500 million economic engine to the triad, boasting a top-ranked nursing department and more than 40 bachelor degree programs, nine master's degree programs, and two doctoral programs. College Magazine naming it among the top 10 HBCUs changing the world. When I came to WSSU, I was still in the process of, uh, process of figuring out who Diamond was. I didn't really know who I was or who I wanted to be. Diamond Carr is student body president. The junior is now double majoring in political science and English with the goal of becoming a lawyer. Approximately 5,500 students attend WSSU. Anastasia Morrison, a double history major, is an indigenous student from Canada. She represents nearly 25% of WSSU students who don't identify as black. I think it's changed my life for the better. Like I'm more immersed in my own culture, but I'm also at the same time learning a different culture too. So, And I get to teach a little bit of my culture as well as they teach me. There is. Giovanni Hayes from Virginia is an IT major. He believes choosing the HBCU experience is the best decision he ever made. Because I'm around so many minorities and people that care about you, it changed me and changed my way of thinking. I can relate. It gave me a tangible glimpse into my future. Also connecting me with classmates who credit WSSU for helping them soar in their careers. Chico Bean is a national comedian, entertainer, and this year's host of the BET Hip Hop Awards. At Olympic host sites such as Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, you know, me and Tim used to, you know, you was the head anchor. I was a sports guy on Rams News, Ram News. Together. Coming up on Ram News. What does the HBCU experience mean to you personally? Like, I thought I was a man before I came to Winston-Salem State, but I became a man there. From MTV's Wild and Out series and popular morning radio host Brian B. Dot McLaughlin. To get to Winston-Salem State and to be able to hone a skill set that I didn't even really know what I wanted to do with. I'm super appreciative of Winston Southern State. They definitely, HBCU saved my life for sure. Vicki Smith Bradley, a TV news executive in Florida. It has meant everything to me to have that perspective, especially in an industry where we are just not getting to the point where African Americans are being celebrated the way we should be. Available right now on abc11.com. And ABC 11 alum and four-time Emmy award-winning journalist Nicole Carr. I didn't choose Winston-Salem State. Winston-Salem State chose me. And I knew it from the moment I walked on campus. There's a feeling there. And you know where you're supposed to be. You sit, you sit singing Where do you see Winston-Salem State in 20 years? 
in, in 10 to 15 years is that every graduation that we're putting out into the world, a new group of entrepreneurs, business folks that are changing lives. By upholding our motto, enter to learn, depart to serve, WSSU serving black excellence since 1892. On the campus of my HBCU, Tim Pulliam, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.